Hello everyone, Robbie here, and today we'll be talking about using trades for workstation or getting trades on your workstation. Now, um, after speaking to a few people, I realized that a good amount of people be fighting this who are not aware that they can add buffs or trades to their workstation. And I'll show you exactly what I mean by that. Now, if you look at his workstations here, you know, you know that they have nothing. At the very top where the pluses are that is workstation here notice that it has check marks on it now even though stations do not have this check marks on there you could get what i call environmental traits on those workstations and let me show what i mean by that so um, before i even get started with that there are two types of traits your workstation carry get on it and i basically call them environmental traits and also augmentation traits now, um, for environmental traits, um, the traits like having a light source close by a workstation, having a workstation underneath a roof, having a heat source close to a workstation, those are environmental traits. Um, another type of environmental traits that you can also get on a workstation is by playing a minor ROM card at a ROMic transmuter. So if you Take a look at this excellent saw table I have over here, for instance. If I inspect it, you notice that it has three environmental traits. It has the shelter trait, which is when you have a roof over a workstation. It has the welded trait, which is when you have a light. And also has a minor ROM card trait on it. Now, um, setting environmental traits like sheltered, which is for having a roof over a workstation, well lit for having a light source, or warmth with having a heat. Those specific traits reduce the refinement time, the refinement time for those workstations. They reduce by 10 seconds. So right now this excellent saw table only has a 20 seconds reduction in refinement time. Compared to if I bring this herd over here, which is a heat source. If I bring it over, slap it right here. Now, before I even put it down, whenever you're putting down objects or augmentations in the workstation, the green line indicates that they are going to provide a trade buff to that workstation. I'll just drop this here. Now, for heat sources, if the heat source is not lit up, it is not going to provide the buff. So, even though it's placed right next to it, if I tap on this excellent sort table, I inspect you notice that it doesn't have that buff form now if I turn it on by igniting the work if I go back on here if I inspect it you notice that it now has the buff warmth on it which gives me another 10% reduction to refinement time now with this I have 10 from shelter and from well lit and 10 from warmth which gives me a total of 30 seconds refinement time reduction basically now, with that said, there is a limit you can stack reductions like that. You can stack it up to a minimum of three reduction time to the overall refinement time the workstation has. You can't go lower than three. So I'll go ahead and turn this off. And I'll go ahead and put it back. Now, so that's for the first set of um, traits or what I call augmentations you can have to workstations now um, I mentioned minor room cards let me show what I mean by that so if you have built a um, a crude remote realmic transmuter or if you use the one on in your realm itself if I go to map there's usually one in the realm see it yep that's it right there Zoom in. That's what the icon looks like on the map. Now, if you play a minor realm card, you both apply buffs for that for the realm itself. Okay, it could be your home respite realm, or it could be the realm you're traveling to. And you can even do this at vaults whenever you're doing vault runs, public vault runs, or even private vault. Runs. Now, with minor realm cards, the specific cards that provide traits or bonuses. Or augmentations to your workstation. 
for instance, the minor ROM card I have played right now, or I currently have active in my Respite Realm, is the Settler Apogen card. And this gives me specific bonuses. This is my carrying capacity on my character. It also gives me twice the hilt when I'm refining metals, lumber, or carved stone. So that specific Realm, minor realm card buffs my Mansory Bench, it buffs my um, Sword Table, and it also buffs my Hearts here. I use for Smelting Ore. Now, and that's why if I go onto my, let's say, my Ma excellent Sword Table and I inspect it, you notice that it has that on there. Now, other stations that do not benefit from that card will also show it on there, even though they're not getting the buffs from it, like my excellent Workbench shows it here even though only very specific things in my excellent workbench gets benefits from crafting lumber lumber based items and stuff like that if i go to my excellent sewing bench it has that listed there even though my sewing bench doesn't get anything from it okay? now the second part of this um video I'm making is in regards to using augmentations to add traits to you now what augmentations do it that when you put an augment next to a to the appropriate crafting table, it provides you additional recipe. So I'll, I'll give an example. So for instance, my explorer boots. Um, if you open, if you go into your guidebook, go under crafting, select some higher uh, mid game or end game recipe. You notice that there, um, in the for the crafting recipe itself, it shows the workstation it on. So for my explorer's work boots, it shows me the materials, it shows me the station I can craft it on, which is the tailor station, and it also shows me that it's only available at that station with one of the following augmentations. Either I have a simple map, or I have a globe at the tailoring station, in case my excellent sewing bench to go to get go to craft this item here. I'll show what I mean by that. So if I go to my excellent sewing bench, notice right on it, I have my simple map. And if I go into it, you notice that's why it show my explorer boots. If I take the simple map away from here and place it elsewhere, where it's no longer providing the traits or the augmentation buff to my sewing bench, if I go back to my sewing bench, you notice that that recipe has disappeared here now i still know that recipe it's just that i don't have the augments required to be able to use my tailoring station to craft that item okay. now if there are any instances when wherein you purchased a recipe or a schematic and you go to a crafting station and it's not there the likely culprit is that you don't have the necessary augmentation to see it on there in the list um, the most common is if you go to a workbench you've purchased um, the firearms in the game, specific firearm in the game and you do not have the ammo type on there or you do not have the firearm type on there that's because you're missing one of the augments that is required to craft the firearm if it's a or a shotgun or a rifle and if you're missing that, just look at the augment I in it and place right next to your workbench and you should be able to craft it. So for instance, you know it's with my excellent workbench. Even though I've already lent the recipe, I purchased the recipe, I can craft ammo for it and also the firearms for it because I have the necessary augmentations there. I have the um ammo bar, I have my simple saddle rack. I also have my, um, yeah. and that's it really. Remember, your workstations, there are different ways in which you, you can augment it or add traits to it to improve that workstation itself. The biggest complaint I've heard is in regards to when, it's two types. The first type of complaint I've heard from fellow players is that when they are crafting items, it takes forever for items to craft. Do that, pretty easy. Make sure it's under a roof, make sure it's near lights us, make sure it also has a source next to it, and that's 30 seconds reduction refinement on that workstation. Now, 
or the second set of um, complaints I've heard is that they purchased a schematic or, or a recipe and they cannot use it. All you need to do is just craft the appropriate augmentation for it. An example is my cochlearian stove over here. And I can make all this stuff. And that's because I have varying augments for it. For instance, I have my traditional kettle, I have my string jug, I have my meat grinder, and I also have my spit roast there. And if I inspect it, you notice it has all this. I have the fermenter buff, I have the cook buff, culinary prowess buff, boiler buff, butcher, stuff like that, and kitchen witchcraft. There's all different traits I have from different augments that is close to my stove for and that's it uh, this is just meant to be a short simple video that's yeah, reminding players that there are things you can do to workstations to improve improve how quickly you make items on it you can also improve the kind of recipe that you can make on those and that's it guys um if you have any other questions or regards to workstations just let me know in the comments and with that said, Ruby out. Happy gaming, everyone.